Hi, welcome back to VMAC DevOps. Today we will see how we can secure our Kubernetes cluster with the help of port security policies. What is port security policies? Port security policies are Kubernetes object itself that having some specified role. And if we are deploying any port on it, and if that port does not meet that condition specified in our port security policies, then Kubernetes will not allow it to start. So like we can secure our Kubernetes cluster if any pod having any uh, harmful uh, access or it, it's running some user that we are not allowing into Kubernetes cluster, or it going to attest some volume that can be impact to uh, our Kubernetes cluster or some hacker can take uh, some uh, privilege from a container. We can stop all these activity with the help of port security policies. So how we can implement it? First of all, we need a Kubernetes cluster that having port security policies enable in it. So I took here RK type of Kubernetes cluster. I enable port security policies. So when I enable port security policies in it, I got a by default port security policies. So the by default port security policies are having very less, you can say restricted way. Like it's allowing anything, uh, it's allowing uh, run as user with any user, it's allowing all volume to attach with the pod. It's uh, allowing privilege container to attest. Do you know what is privilege container? The privilege container is nothing but that uh, the container that can play with our host machine. Like uh, best example is Docker in the Docker container. They can uh, create another Docker image within the container itself. So that kind of functionality, if we have to stop in our Kubernetes cluster, we have to implement a restricted type of uh, port security policies. So here I took one example and this is, I created uh, a restricted kind of a port security uh, manifest file. Here I'm going to making a privilege false. So I set up this rule. It means any port uh, that having container a uh, privilege enable in it that are going to reject by this Kubernetes cluster. How it's working? First of all, we need to know the beauty of Kubernetes cluster that any any operation when we are doing into our Kubernetes cluster with the help of Kubernetes admin user. Like when I'm going to run this command, it means I'm using that Kubernetes a cube config file that having defined that a uh, Kubernetes admin user and I'm, I'm going to execute it. So if anything that I'm going to uh, do with help of Kubernetes admin user, they are going to use privilege kind of PSP. The privilege PSP is that default kind of port security policies that we already seen here that having very uh, less restricted rule. So when uh, anything I'm going to use with uh, with this uh, Kubernetes admin user, then I will, uh, you can say that I'm having the freedom that I can do some uh, less secure operation. But if I'm going to use the same thing with any other user, suppose I'm going to use the uh, same thing, same command that I used for my Kubernetes admin. If you know aware that hyphen hyphen is command, we can specify user. So here I specified any user. So it's saying that no. It said yes, when I ran this command with the help of Kubernetes admin user, but when I ran the same command with any user, it's saying no. That is beauty of Kubernetes cluster. It means that default less privileged port security policies that are coming with the Kubernetes cluster are only applicable with Kubernetes admin server. And as per RBAC, RBAC policies, we do not give any user that Kubernetes admin access. If we are if we give the Kubernetes admin access, automatically it will uh, take that full Kubernetes, uh, ex, uh, you can say that uh, operation access. So we have to make sure we are giving uh, Kubernetes admin access to only the Kubernetes admin, not any other user. So let's start to create another 
port security policies oh i created here cube sheet here apply f already i shown this manifest file that having uh, some set of good rules so cube ctl get psp and here i already shown that if any uh, any user that are going to execute in this kubernetes cluster they are only having option to use this restricted type of uh, port security policy are not able to create any port that having privileged enabled so because i already created the rule we are accepting are this kubernetes cluster accepting the port that having privileged access false so for that i need to map this a restricted kind of port security policy with the cluster role and cluster role binding for that i already created this rpec file and here you can say that i'm going to make a port security policies and this port security policies i'm going to bind with any user that are getting system authenticated group means any service user in this kubernetes cluster they are all part of this group are going to use only the restricted kind of port security policies so i'm going to create these a big role so here is name is restricted and i applied it so now i'm having kubectl get port no port is running and i created here a port manifest file in this port manifest file if you see that i'm allowing a port to use a privileged true so if i'm going to create this port with the help of kubernetes admin server so it will going to create in this kubernetes cluster because uh, we already discuss any operation that we are going to uh, going to do with help of kubernetes admin server then uh, only a privileged kind of port security policies that is default going to be applicable so now we have to test it with uh, our uh, restricted kind of uh, port security policy so first of all let's start to create uh, another user let's just make it clear and here i put the some command that help me to create uh, first of all i'm going to create a kubernetes namespace and this kubernetes namespace i'm going to create a service user uh, so uh, i need to make it demo now i'm going to create some role binding for this particular namespace for this particular user so i created a role binding the name is fake editor and i created it for my uh, system authenticated group user that name is my user and namespace them now i'm going to create the same pod manifest file that we created with the help of kubernetes admin user that time it get created because it took the less privileged port security policy the same one i'm going to create with the help of this user that is uh, my uh, demo user that we are calling as my user so what what do you think what will happen so now i'm going to execute it and now when i'm executed here it's saying to me that privilege container are not allowed it means i'm going to make secure my kubernetes cluster to run a port that having privilege container flag enabled so here is the my policy so here this is the policy that is applicable with any other user that are doing operation in kubernetes cluster and in this i make it false so any port that are not having this privilege false not going to created on this kubernetes cluster and i'm making secure uh, for this uh, kubernetes cluster with the help of port security policies so that's it for this demo